I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn. Your Citizen Florida Tropical Update as we're taking a look in the Atlantic. We are still dealing with Tropical Storm Jose and then Hurricane Maria as it is skirting around the northeastern coast of the Dominican Republic and headed towards the Turks and Caicos. But first, as we take a little bit closer look at Jose, still causing some problems up and around the New England area. It's been a long-lived storm, but watch this. We're sort of watching it spin around over the next uh, couple of days all the way through the weekend into early next week, and it will continue to weaken until we get into a tropical depression then and the remnants of a low the night early next week. But still causing some problems with the rift tides and higher surfs and the rain and the wind across New England. And then a little bit farther down to the south, this is where we are watching Hurricane Maria. Take a look at the eye before it started to get a little bit more ragged. It was actually as big as 40 nautical miles. Massive system that has caused detrimental damage across the uh, island of Puerto Rico. 100% of the people losing power there, flooding, and still continues to see some heavy rains in those last outer bands of the storm. This storm will continue brushing by the Dominican Republic and then head towards the Turks and Caicos before making that more northerly turn. Actually, thanks to the uh, remnants of Jose is actually breaking down the ridge and pushing a little bit farther to the east. Notice it's actually going to be re-strengthening even though we're looking into an area with some shear, some still very warm waters and a very strong upper uh, level outflow of this storm will continue to make it a little bit stronger. So going back up to around 125 miles per hour as you're getting into Friday. Wind speed is currently right now around 115. This is our track looking at some more favorably and highly favorable conditions though for developing as you're going into the weekend. But then watch what happens next week as we go a little bit farther north into Monday and into the Atlantic. Things a little bit less favorable and that's when we will start to see Maria start to weaken. Of course, you can always get the latest on the Atlantic activities and weather in Florida by checking out our Florida Storms app.